Yeah. Um, okay. Here we are unlocking astrology with Sam Reynolds. And before we got on, just before we got on, you said, this is the episode where I'm going to get you into trouble. So I texted you and I said, uh, today we were going to do Aries, but somebody asked a question about the age of Aquarius or the age of something. And I was like, I don't know what that is. So I feel like in the story arc, you know, they're missing pieces foundationally that we have to fill in the blank. So uh, I don't know what an age is or what it even means, but why would talking about the ages get you into trouble? Because I don't fully believe in them. Oh, okay. Um, and many people, um, many people do. And I think it's become popular to talk about the ages and particularly like the age of Aquarius. You've heard of it. Thanks to fifth dimension. This is the dawning of the age of, thanks to hair. Um, and so many people have been anticipating the age of Aquarius and then all the quote unquote positive things that come along with it. But maybe we best to start with what are the ages, right? Which is your before we, before we go there, we, we also, we had a, a slight religious conversation. It wasn't religious. You know, I think for me, this series, because it is so um, controversial from the standpoint spiritually for a lot of folks, particularly those sure, who sure. Uh, ascribe to Christianity, um, as I do, I'm a follower of Christ, you're a follower of Allah, uh, we're both uh, lovers of God, uh, or, or trying to align uh, our lives to, to serve, to serve the, the one most high, whatever you call God, her. Um, so, you know, for, having this on a Sunday is on purpose too. Pl playing this, playing this on a Sunday is on purpose. Uh, cause Sunday is absolutely, actually not the Sabbath. You know, there are all of these things that we've been indoctrinated into. When I, I was watching, um, Pharrell, uh, his uncle has a show on Netflix and you know, it's a gospel choir they're putting together and his, his uncle sits on this like throne, you know, in this, you know, the typical church, black church where the pastor sits on a throne. And I was mm -hmm. like, Jesus never sat on a throne ever. He was like among the people, like dressed like everybody else, washing feet and, you know, healing people and turn over tape. Like he was a regular guy who might have been near the water and then people would show up and then he would preach. But this whole majesty, the robes and the throne and the I'm here and the deacon sit there and we're going to wear white and then certain people have seats. And I was like, how is that following Christ? So I said something to you about a greeting and you said, you're not supposed to do that because it's only reserved for, and I'm like, well, but why? And you're like, well, I don't necessarily agree with that either. I think this is the time for us to examine everything that we thought we believed and break it so that we could put our lives back together and live our well, full. Yeah, I do that as a regular practice. Um, I do that as a practice pretty much, I would say, seven years or 12 year increments where I take literally everything I believe and I examine it. And like, if I don't fully feel it, don't believe it, it goes in the trash. Like so clothes. like clothes in the closet, like you have clothes a in the closet. Here, bag it up and take it to Goodwill. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I think that is a good practice that people should have. Um, I think generally, you know, whether you want to do it, I think it might be a little extreme to do it every year, <laughs> but maybe every three years, every so often where you kind of check in. Um, so even with that, you know, when I learned that greeting, so what, to give it fully for your viewers um, and listeners, he said, assalamu alaikum. I said the full greeting, which is why alaikum salam. And then one of the things I was told early on, I said, well, alaikum salam, rabbatullahi barakatuh. Um, what I was told fully, you know, on was that you're supposed to give that to Muslims. And I was like, okay, not, not to regular people, no. Because you, just, you could say, wa alaikum. Because they could be saying, because um, you know, salam is the peace part. They could be like cursing you, you know, in terms of how they're saying it. When they say, assalamu alaikum, they could be just saying it to mock you. And then you're saying, may the peace of Allah be upon you, right? So, you know, I still think, I can still say, may the peace of Allah be upon you, <laughs> right? Even if, if you're mocking me. Even if your intent, even if your intent, and I think, you know, th this is important as we, before we get into these ages, because I think, you know, you don't treat people the way they treat you, 
right? A right. person's intent we can't control. The only thing we can't control is ourselves. So wishing peace and blessings upon somebody, even if they mean you harm, doesn't take anything away from you. As a matter of fact, I think it adds, it's like this, this is a scripture about heaping hot coals on somebody's head. Right. You know, and the Prophet sure. Muhammad was like that. I mean, like he literally would have a woman who like would dump garbage on his head, you know, every time he passed by her house, right? And when she, when uh, he passed by and no garbage fell, he went looking after her and discovered that she was sick, right? And visited her. And she was like, why would you do this? When I've done nothing but, you know, done hateful things to you. Because if she, he and he said, because of Allah, you know, and the love of Allah. And I believe she became a Muslim, right? You know, that's, and not that you should have that intent, but, you know, you can't curse people. This is why it's an interesting moment, especially for Muslims. So there's a whole nother discussion um, that we have, because I understand why you're doing this for, on Sundays. And I think majority of black folks are Christian if they're going to be any particular religion. But don't forget, and, I, and I'm also saying this for my Arab sisters and brothers, the first people in this country who had a